In the previous two videos of this section, we worked on taking decimals and fractions and writing them as percents. Here we're going to take percents and write them in either their fraction or decimal form. Um, now, in this particular video, we're going to just focus on writing our percents as fractions or as mixed numbers if appropriate. So in uh, this first example, we're going to try and take 48% and write this as a fraction or mixed number. Now we're going to use the same idea that we had in those previous videos that 100% is equal to 1. And from that fact we can create a conversion factor much like we did back in section 1.3 and in section uh, 1.4 and 1.5 for that matter. So the idea is I want to take 48% and I want to multiply by a unit conversion factor that will make this percent sign go away. So if 48%, if we think of that as being in the numerator, and if it helps you again put 48% over 1 to see that, then of course I need to put 100% in the denominator. And that would mean of course I need to put 1 on top because I know that 100% is equal to 1. By doing this, I can see that my percent symbol will cancel out, leaving me with 48 over 100. So 48% is equivalent to 48 over 100. Now whenever we give a fraction answer, we're responsible for writing it in reduced form. So we recognize that the greatest common factor of 48 and 100 is 4. And dividing top and bottom by 4 gives us 12 25ths. All right, this next example, we have 5 and 3 7 percent. And we want to convert that into a fraction or mixed number. Okay. So, of course, when we work with unit conversion factors, there's multiplication involved. And so, whenever we have a mixed number where multiplication is involved, it needs to be turned to an improper fraction. So, 5 and 3 7 percent will become 38 over 7 percent. And I will emphasize that the percent is in the numerator by putting it up next to the 38. Again, my unit conver conversion factor will be 1 over 100% so that the percent symbols cancel. So I can see that happening here. And I can also see that 38 and 100 are both even, so I can divide them both by 2. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and divide 38 by 2, giving me 19 and dividing 100 by 2 giving me 50. So on top I have 19 times 1 is 19 and 7 times 50 is going to be 350. And since I know 19 has nothing in common with 7 and nothing in common with 50 because 19 is a prime number, my answer here is 19 over 350. All right, for this last example, we have a percent, 5.6 percent, that we'd like to convert to a fraction. Again, I will multiply by 1 over 100 percent as my conversion factor. I see my percent symbols canceling. So that leaves me with 5.6 over 100. Now, of course, we know it's not simplified to leave a decimal within a fraction. So we can easily fix that by just multiplying the top and bottom by 10. That will move my decimal 1 to the right and 5.6, giving me 56. And then, of course, now I have 1,000 on bottom. 
Then I need to look for what 56 and 1,000 have in common. And let's see, 56 is divisible by 8. And so is 1,000. So 56 divided by 8 is 7, and 1,000 divided by 8 is 125. So 5.6% is equivalent to 7 125ths.